Forest fires happen in summer when it hasn't rained for a long time and everything is very dry. For many years, people have thought of forest fires as natural disasters that harm the forest. But they are also an important part of the life cycle of a forest. The science of fire ecology studies the connection between fire, plants, and animals in forest fires. With every fire, the forest is born again. Forest fires and plants. Forest fires often start when lightning strikes a tree, but people can also cause forest fires. Sometimes they don't know what they did and it happens by accident, but other times it's done on purpose. Once a fire starts, it burns away the dry leaves and branches of the canopy, but it doesn't completely destroy the trees. The fire also gets rid of overgrown plants, fallen leaves, and bacteria in the soil that cause diseases. Plants on the forest floor need space and sunlight to grow. They have short life cycles, so they can grow and make seeds quickly. By the time the forest canopy has grown back, these plants have already completed their life cycles. The Life Cycle of a Forest 1. Lightning strikes a tree. 2. A fire begins to burn the understory. Then the fire spreads up and burns the canopy. 3. Heat and smoke cause seed pods to open. 4. Sunlight can reach the forest floor because the canopy isn't there. 5. The burned plants feed the soil. 6. New plants start to grow from the seeds. 7. The canopy grows back and the forest floor is in the shade again. It takes many years for the trees to grow fully. Forest Fires and Animals When a fire starts in a forest, every creature tries to escape. Birds fly away and mammals usually run away. Larger animals, such as elk, sometimes stand in streams or lakes for safety. Small creatures, such as chipmunks, frogs, mice, and insects, hide underground in logs or under rocks. Some of the weaker animals die, but many survive. This is called survival of the fittest, because the animals that don't die in the fire are the strongest and healthiest. Animals have learned to live with fire, and some even benefit from it. Fires give predators the chance to hunt insects and small animals that have to leave their hiding places to escape. Some birds of prey, such as falcons, even drop burning twigs to start fires deliberately. After a fire, scavengers that may not be native to the forest come to feed on the bodies of dead animals. Woodpeckers and other birds follow fires to eat the dead insects from under the bark of trees. There are lots of things for animals to eat in a burned forest. Animals soon go back to their homes in the forest and plants start growing again. The life cycle of the forest starts all over. Hundreds of species of plants and animals live together in forests. Fire ecology helps us to understand the complicated interaction between their life cycles. It's possible for people to see forest fires more as natural wonders than natural disasters.